I'm back with another problem from lead code, the number 13, 18. Minimum flips to make A or B equal to C. So we are given with three numbers, A and B, A, B and C. So the problem is A or B equal to C. So that is what we need to carry out and we need to identify how many bits that we need to change. So essentially, uh, let's try to understand an R operation, right? So R operation is like this. So if a bit is one from one number and another bit is also from one one in another, from another number, right? So then it will be one. And the second case is if either of them is one from one number, right? the r is 1 again so right so these are the operations where we get 1 so if you have both numbers or both bits are 1 we get 1 or any of the numbers is 1 we get 1 but if both numbers are 0 right then only we get a 0 right so that's that's that is essentially the um, R operation. So in the given example, right? So the uh, the given example, two, six, and five. If we convert two into binary, that is zero zero one zero, and the second one, number B, zero one one zero. So C is zero one zero one. So that is five, right? So essentially, if you do an R operation between A and B, it is expecting C. But how many bits we need to change is the question. How many flips that we need to make. So, so we need to do a kind of reverse engineering, right? So in the last bit, that is least significant bit, right? In C, it is 1, but in A and B, they are zeros. So from our logic, right, if in order to get a 1, it can be any of those bits can be 1, right? So right now, these two bits are 0. We could flip either 1 or 2 of them to be 1. But since we are looking for minimum number of flips, right? So this is the minimum number of flips. So it's enough for us to flip one bit or one of them basically. So here we could change this bit to one. That's what is shown here. That is this one. We are only working on the least significant bit right now, so, right? So that means the flip count is one now. If we go to the second, that is second least significant bit, right? So both of them are ones but we are expecting a zero from our definition of r if you want to get a zero right both numbers should be zeros right so in this case since both are one we can't get a zero with that so we need to flip both bits so that means for if you flip one to zero the count of flips is two and if you flip this one also to the zero, the count of flips becomes three. So for this, this significant bit, we changed one and this significant bit, we changed two. So total number of flips are three now, as of now. And for this zero or one, it's one. So we, we don't need to change any bits, zero or zero, zero. So we don't need to change any bits. So for this problem, right, when a is equal to two, b is equal to six, c is equal to five, the number of bits that we need to change or flip are three, right? So that's how it goes. So it's a simple problem. Let's go uh, look at the logic, how we're going to solve it. So the first thing, what we are going to do is convert the numbers into binary, just like in our example, right? Two is converted into binary, that became zero, zero, one, zero. B is 6, that can became 0, 1, 1, 0. C is 5, 0, 1, 0. So we first convert them into binary. And the second step that we need to do is, uh, we need to make sure 
the length of the converted numbers are same for example if you convert two right to to binary the actual is two is equal to one zero in binary right but whereas five is equal to one zero one right and whereas six is equal to one one zero right so this is how it is actually but they are not of equal length for this purpose what we are going to do is we are going to make them equal in length so what we, we can do is just prepend zero here right so even if you put zero the value still remains the same so we can prepend any number of zeros so that way we can make them same length right so now they are same length just like as shown in the uh, example so here he has added uh, one more extra zero which is not required uh, at least for this case if if one of the number was like eight right let's say if this was eight right eight is one zero zero so in this case right to make all of them of same length we should put a zero here and a zero here now all of them are same length so essentially what we're trying to say is make them same length whatever the numbers that you get a b and c after you convert them into binary and then uh, by comparing the number c in each bit right for each bit in c compare the bits in a and b if both of them are ones and if your answer bit is also one then we, you don't need to change anything but if the both of them are ones but your answer bit is zero just like we saw in the previous case right so here both of them are ones but we are expecting a zero in that case there are two flips needed so that's what we did so likewise we will have to continue from the for each bit position so once we do that we will need to calculate the number of flips. Let's go look at the code now. So here, uh, these are essentially converting A, B and C into the uh, binary format. So once we put the binary format, right, into A1, B1 and C1, these are strings basically. What we're going to do is calculate the max length, right, calculate the max length with this. Once we know the max length, we need to add the extra zeros for each of these numbers right so for from the max length subtract the length of the a1 and up prepend that many zeros right for b1 also prepend that many zeros for c1 also prepend that many zeros so so in the previous example right what we saw is 0 is 0, zero is essentially 1 uh, 1 0 right and 5 is 1 0 1 for 8 is 1 so the length here is 4 the length here is 3 for the length here is 2 so here 4 minus the maximum of 2 3 and 4 is so maximum of uh, 2 3 and 4 is 4 right so now what we are going to do is for number 2 we are going to do two zeros prepend so that's what we are going to, going to make this will become 0 and 0 and this will there is no need to append anything so this is 4 and 4 the, we will append 0 0 that means that's it so now they're all of equal length so that is what we are doing here i i wrote a simple prepend zeros uh, uh, special function which does the same thing basically right so now while going from each bit location right so we'll have to compare each bit location and and or it or it and compare with the answer so that's what this code will do it so we are going from the first uh, index till the max length that is the, in our example it is four right max length so if at all c that is c the answer bit is one and both of them are zeros that is 
when we need to flip there are only two cases where we need to flip so there is this is one case if if we are expecting a one but both the bits in a and b are zero that is when you need to flip at least one of the bit right because as per the r definition if any of those bits are one you get the answer one so we are going to increment the diff bit by one that is one first case and the second case is if you are expecting c the the bit in c is zero and if any of them are one right that is another case right because to get a zero you need both bits to be zeros right so if at all a's bit is one we need to up we need to increase the count diff bits if b's bit is also one we need to increase it so likewise we calculate the diff bits and then finally we increase the index so we go from 0th index 1 2 3 4 and so on finally once we end the numbers right we return the diff bits so basically this is a simple logic that we are doing this is an accepted solution basically okay thanks for watching viewers uh, we will come back with another video very soon thank you please subscribe and share among your friends if you like this video thank you